Hey, what's up guys? I'm Papa Joe and back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. And today I have all the brand new stuff for you that is supposed to appear for this year's Halloween season in COD Mobile. And I'm going to summarize all the information for you, so I invite you to watch the full video and let's jump right into it. First, I'll start with the obvious things and then I'll go over the important things of the new season. The new season nine will launch in just a little over a month most likely on October 4th in COD Mobile, according to the in-game Battle Pass countdown. But I think everybody knows that theme of the next season relates to Halloween, even though the official marketing, such as teasers, showing various artworks of what to expect from the season, will start rolling out towards the end of September. What's actually much more interesting is the fact that, based on new leaked stuff, zombies will play a big role at this year's Halloween season like in 2022 for Season 9, Zombies Are Back, when the classic zombie mode returned to the game after a long absence. This means that the zombies will be taking over COD Mobile next season and getting new updates, along with other stuff planned for the Halloween festivities in Season 9. Obviously, one of the new things in the next season is the new functional weapon even though it's not really clear which one is going to be at the end. As references were found in the files that are related to two new weapons, the Uzi and the Type 63. While the basic model of the second weapon already exists in COD Mobile, there is no model of the Uzi submachine gun, meaning the Type 63 Marksman Rifle is expected to be introduced with the next season. The confirmation is still missing, so as mentioned earlier, we don't know which of the two is going to be the next functional weapon in COD Mobile, though there's more evidence in favor of the Type 63. With the recent test server, which is currently closed and will not work until a new update is released by the developers, new stuff was able to be tested, some of which is already available in Season 8, but not everything such as the Flamenot Score Streak, a suit with a flamethrower with unlimited fuel, which disappears as soon as you are being killed. The new score streak is already visible in the game since the season eight update, and it is closed in the score streak selection, but will most likely be unlocked in the new battle pass alongside the season nine update. This score streak will be very useful in a mode that is also expected next season. Among the new things from the recent test server that haven't yet found their way into COD mobile, is the new Hardpoint Multiplayer Mode. This mode, taken from COD WW2 and MW3, is essentially Hardpoint, but with zombie NPCs roaming the map and attacking the players. Once a player has entered the Horde Point, these zombies spawn and take several shots to kill. In other words, a perfect mode for the upcoming Halloween-themed Season 9, which means we'll definitely see it soon in the game as long as the developers don't decide to change their plans. Moving on to the new Alchemy Stars collaboration zombie mode for Call of Duty Mobile. Yes, that's right guys, a new collaboration zombie mode is coming to Call of Duty Mobile, about which data miners found some references in text sources earlier this week and was already revealed by the devs two months ago at the Chinese Tencent Spark event. This new collaboration zombie mode will resemble a siege mode but with many changes, including an extended storyline with six chapters, new monsters, the ability to summon over 50 different NPCs, additional power-ups, score streaks, unique player classes, and a safe area where players can interact with NPCs. The Alchemy Stars collaboration is planned for every server, including the global server, and will also include a bonus unlockable camo, as well as new free rewards that every player will be able to unlock. Urban Tracker will also play an important role in this zombie collaboration storyline and might get some exclusive skins. So we may be seeing the next free Urban Tracker in Season 9, but we'll have to wait until something official is revealed. While players of the COD Mobile servers like Latam, Garena, and China had or will have the chance to get several legendary weapon blueprints and even some mythic skins completely for free, the players of the global server instead are eagerly waiting to get the next incredible reward on their server after the recent legendary M4 Black Soul event. But don't worry, as the developers remembered that the global server exists, 
and decided to cook something exciting for the free-to-play community after a long time. This exciting reward is rumored to be related to the multiplayer and battle royale mode. It's currently very difficult to predict if it might be the next legendary blueprint outside of the elite missions. Also, it's not clear at the moment if the reward might be the urban tracker character, which is supposed to play an important role in the new alchemy collaboration. One thing we can be sure of though, is that we can definitely expect an attractive free reward coming either in season nine, season 10, or season 11. Additional collaborations are planned for Call of Duty Mobile, most of them celebrating their comeback and returning in Garena and China Cod Mobile. But the exact dates of these returning collaborations are unknown. But there is some hope, as some data miners are expecting the Girls Frontline collaboration might finally appear in the global server. On top of that, the Gundam collaboration is expected to arrive in Cod Mobile very soon. So there's a possibility that it might appear in season nine, which might not really fit with the Halloween season, but since the theme of season seven Eternal Ghost and its battle pass didn't harmonize, everything is possible in my opinion, if you know what I mean. Nevertheless, it cannot be ruled out that one of the collaborations will appear in November for the fifth anniversary and none during season nine. In terms of lucky draws, we can expect legendary blueprints in Season 9 for weapons like the EM-2, the Switchblade X9, the Type-19, the RPD, the Type-63, and for the new Lag-53 Assault Rifle, introduced in Season 8, some of which might be released for the 5th anniversary. In addition, there are two extra skins in the files, for the HVK-30 and for the Holger, both with similar names as the new Zombie Camo which is set to be introduced in Season 9. It's not known at the moment if these two new legendary blueprints have any connection in any way with the new zombie camo. Don't forget this legendary Groza blueprint, which was leaked a few weeks ago but hasn't been released yet. Who knows, maybe the blueprint will be released for the upcoming season. Of course, a new or updated series armory draw is possible again in Season 9, in addition with one of these skins, but nothing confirmed. On top of that, an additional legendary blueprint is in the files that, unlike the others, has no information regarding for which weapon this skin is intended. Could this be the new legendary weapon blueprint from the La Souterre weapon crate? To complete the video and give you all the relevant leaks for Season 9, I would like to talk about the next legendary character, which will arrive either during the Halloween season or the 5th anniversary, since it's impossible to say for sure at the moment. But still, some sources say that Dark Shepherd, I mean this guy here, will definitely be the next character getting a legendary variant in COD Mobile. Should the legendary Dark Shepherd character, about which nothing else is known yet, arrive in Season 9, I imagine him to have a spooky vibe similar to the Gunzo Devil Jester. But if the next legendary character appears in Season 10, the fifth anniversary, I'd like to know your ideas of how he should look. So let your imagination go crazy in the comment section. As you'll have noticed, there are plenty of new things and information for COD Mobile, but none of it is really confirmed for Season 9, except the Flamenaut score streak, the Type 63, and the return of Halloween maps like Standoff or Haunted Hacienda. So the next couple of weeks are gonna be very exciting for us as the official Season 9 stuff gets revealed. And yeah, that's all that I got for you guys in this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you found the video informative and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again.